Hey, what is up guys? Spoons here, and I have some pretty big news. Um, the April 2nd DLC that was going to come out, uh, it was a free DLC. It came with Execution and a new map called Haven. Uh, it is now coming out tomorrow, Friday, uh, March 29th. So it's a few days early. Uh, this was announced on the Epic Games forums by an Epic employee, uh, so it's official. And uh, yeah, so there's also a title update that's coming out and it's going to uh, fix some things uh, in the game. So I'm going to read over those things. Uh, I'll give you some information on the um, DLC. It's a free DLC and I'll tell you how to download it because there's a little bug going on that they said. Um, uh, so I'll tell you exactly how to download it when it comes out tomorrow. Now I don't know if it comes out because um, I know Epic is on uh, Eastern Time. So I don't know if it comes out right at 12 uh, a.m. Eastern Time. But I will let you guys know um, when it comes out. You can follow me on Twitter. It's always been in my uh, description. And I'll probably probably be updating uh, when the DLC officially comes out. All right, so here's some information about the DLC. Um, this is the first DLC and title update for Gears of War Judgment. Um, the pack includes a new multiplayer map called Haven and the fan favorite mode Execution. Um, they have created special playlists for Haven and Execution, which feature two times XP for a limited time. Now that two times XP is for anyone. You don't need to have a VIP pass. But if you already do have a VIP pass and you play in those playlists, you get three times XP. So I know I'll be playing that. Um, so you get three times XP if you're VIP, if you play in the special Haven Execution playlist. And if you're not VIP, you still get double XP when you play in those playlists. So that's pretty cool. Now this is really important, um, you must download the DLC pack directly from the Xbox 360 dashboard or you can add it to your download queue via xbox.com. Um, so do not load up Gears of War Judgment and try to buy the pack in game because there is a, um, a bug that's happening and it won't let you purchase it. There's just, just don't buy it um, through the Gears of War game itself, buy it on the dashboard um, and that, that, that's going to be fixed as soon as possible they said. Alright, so here's some title update details. Um, now, if you don't know what title update is, uh, it's an update to the game uh, that fixes bugs, uh, just makes the game run smoother overall, uh, and Gears has um, always had these, So, but this is the first one for Judgment, so it's pretty important. Um, Alright, so uh, first thing, uh, various dedicated server improvements, so that's pretty good. Um, I know in Gears 3 a lot of people were skeptical about the dedicated servers, uh, but I just think it's just because Epic didn't really maintain them that much after six months in, but that's a different story. So that's good that they're updating dedicated servers. Um, players no longer get stuck in the main menu background after playing three random matches. Uh, that hasn't happened to me, but it's fixed. Uh, locusts no longer spawn at the second E-hole on the first wave of Island. Players will no longer get stuck inside of a boom shield that has been planted by an enemy player. Uh, players will no longer uh, able will no longer able to look down the scope with a marksman while holding a meat shield. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, I'm guessing the meat shield thing is for... Um, I don't think you can have a meat shield in Overrun. Uh, I think that's for execution, so that's good. Um, if a locust destroys an objective at the same time the timer runs out in Overrun using mercy rules, the match will not end, end early, so that's cool. Um, while holding a meat shield, you will only need to tap B to melee. Okay. Um, Fix for exclamation points, not disappearing after viewing an unlocked character. That's good. Uh, the spray and pray ribbon can now be earned in the first round. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, I didn't know you couldn't get it in the first round. Uh, if the boom shield is disabled in weapon swap, you will no longer see the icon in the TACOM. Um, the TACOM is the uh, little thing when you press down on the D-pad. It lets you know where your teammates and the weapon spawns are uh, in case you're new at the game. Uh, you, will know, you will now earn the Team Savior Ribbon for reviving three individual teammates in a single life. Um, players can no longer chainsaw another player while holding the Boom Shield. Okay, that's... Um, oh, apparently, I guess you could hold the Boom Shield and chainsaw at the same time. That's a little weird. Good thing that's gone. Uh, improvements to the Hammer of Dawn targeting. That's, that's good. And you will now see XP tallies between matches. Um, so that's good, I guess. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know. Uh, I don't know what that really means. But uh, the link to this thread on the Epic forums will be in the description below. So if you want to read it for yourself, 
uh, maybe respond to the thread or something like that, it'll be uh, in the description below, so you can just click that link. And remember to follow me on Twitter if you want to know, um, any, if you have any questions about the DLC or gears in general, you can always follow me on Twitter. Link is always in the description. So thanks for watching, guys. This is pretty big news, and I uh, hope to see you uh, on gears. See ya.